Welcome back to another video. In this video, I thought we would have a casual chit chat about some of the Asian dramas that I'm currently watching. And if you're an English learner, this is a really good opportunity to listen to unscripted English, to listen to natural English. I think that there's a difference between what you learn in a textbook and even what you learn from a teacher versus how people speak in real life. Because in the textbook, you're learning very standard English. You're learning about grammar rules, which are important to understand how the language works. But in real life, in real world conversation, people don't use uh, proper grammar all of the time and people don't talk in full sentences all of the time. So listen to this video with that in mind and also write down some of the words or phrases that you don't know. I use a lot of slang and a lot of idioms in my regular everyday life. And a lot of the things I say are uh, cultural references or implied meanings. So it's not exactly what I'm saying is exactly what I mean. And I think that the more you listen to this type of speak, you'll understand. One thing that I've noticed is that in America, we tend to speak very similarly no matter who we're talking to. So I tend to speak to my boss the same way that I speak to my friends. Maybe there's a slight variation, but it's pretty similar. We have a pretty casual way of speaking in America. So that I think is very different from some other cultures that use a lot of uh, honorifics or that, you know, tend to respect their elders more maybe. I think we have a pretty like flat society when it comes to uh, hierarchy. So, you know, I call my boss by her name, by her first name, very casual. And that's the way that people speak in America for the most part, not everybody, right? So yeah, let's get into the video. Uh, so what have I been watching lately? I honestly, I couldn't do a review video this week because I haven't quite finished any show. I've just been watching a bunch of shows. Um, let's see. So I've been watching, I've been watching, um, I've been watching Extraordinary Attorney Wu. This is a Korean drama. I think it came out in 2020-ish, uh, 2021. I have no idea actually, but it's on Netflix and it's been on there for a while. Netflix kept recommending it to me, but I was not like into it um, until I saw the main actress and a couple different things, which I've already talked about on this channel. I saw her in Castaway Diva and that was honestly what got me hooked to her because I loved her performance in that. So I decided, okay, let me watch this. And it has not disappointed thus far. I think I'm on episode 10. I really, really like it. I think it's really good. Her performance as someone with autism, honestly, I don't have autism so I don't know but I feel that she really nailed it like I feel like she caught the essence of what it means to have autism because people often think that that people that have uh, disabilities are less than or are not as capable and I don't think that that's true at all I used to work with people with disabilities and I think that they have their own superpowers that other people that don't have the same abilities um, don't really see, you know, if you're different in any type of way, people automatically assume that there's something wrong with you. But I don't think that that's the case. I think that you're just doing things in a different way. And that's totally fine. So anyway, loved that. Love that show. Uh, really, really good stuff. Um, what else am I watching? I'm also watching... Let's see. Um, oh, I'm watching this Japanese drama called Three Dads. It, that one came out in 2017, I think, and it's on Vicky. I really like it. I think there's, I want to say that there's an English version of this show, like an American version, Three Dads. Let me Google it real quick. Okay, so I remember now, there was a show that I watched called Baby Daddy that came out in 2012 and that was a sitcom that was really funny. It was about one guy who caught, who, um, 
somehow ended up with a baby like at his doorstep, but he had roommates. So him and his roommates and basically his friends all, you know, work together to help raise this baby basically. And that is the same storyline as Three Dads, which is a Japanese drama. Um, and it's really funny. It's actually really hilarious. And what I love about it is that I've seen a couple of those actors in different shows. And I love to watch shows where I've already seen the actor do something that's totally different because I like to see when actors have versatility. I like to see when actors can, you know, take on roles that are totally different from the last role, right? I think that that shows a lot of um, skill, a lot of skill in acting. So I think it's hilarious. It's a really good show. It's like a feel good show. I don't know if you've noticed this about me, but I love feel good shows because it, it just, you know, it brings hope to humanity, I think. And that's something that we could all use a little bit more of. Also, I'm just a chronic optimist, so love a feel-good show. Really good, and also Baby Daddy is really good, too. It apparently, it has six seasons. I've, I think I only saw, like, two or three seasons. Mm, let's see what else have I been watching. So, I did do a video review of um what was that show called use for my talent i talked about that last week here's the thing i haven't actually finished that show and the reason why i haven't finished it is because like i think i think that the premise of the show is good and i think that there was something there but it just kind of fell flat a little bit like they were trying to make it very quirky like cutesy uh comedy but it just there's way too many cliches in it and there's way too much it feels like it's trying too hard like it's trying too hard to be funny it's trying too hard to be a lot of things and that's making it not funny and not all the things that it's wanting to be so I'm I can't finish it like I'm straggling along I'm trying to finish it I'm you know, watching an episode here or there, but I don't know if I'm ever going to finish that. I feel like my time is precious and I can't be wasting my time watching shows that I don't find interesting. Like, it's just not what how I'm trying to spend my time. So didn't want to watch it. Um, have it really gotten around to finishing it. I watched another show. Well, the reason why I watched that show, actually, let me go back. The reason why I started watching that show is because I really liked the main actress who was in Meteor Gardens, uh, which is another Chinese drama. And she was really good in Meteor Gardens. I've seen her, I think this is the only other show I've seen her in. Um, but she's also in another show on Netflix called The... A Life So Beautiful, or maybe it's A Love So Beautiful. I think it's A Love So Beautiful, and th that one I think is a classic. There's also a Korean version of that show, but uh, I don't know. I just can't get into it. To be honest, I'm kind of on a Korean drama kick right now. I know most people watch Korean dramas primarily, like most people primarily watch Korean dramas, but I got into Chinese dramas first and then I got into Japanese dramas and now like very late in the game is when I'm getting into Korean dramas so I'm on a kick right now so right now I'm watching a lot a lot a lot of Korean dramas all right what else am I watching I feel like this video I've kind of ranted a lot in this video but this is honestly Here's the thing, this is like how people talk, right? Like if you're just talking to your girlfriend and if you're just talking to your friend in English, this is how you're talking. And notice, notice this, somebody pointed this out to me one day and this is extremely true. I don't know if everybody talks like this, but a lot of millennials talk like this. A lot of people my age talk like this, where we, we increase our intonation at the end of the sentence. Notice that. Notice how when I talk and I'm not consciously thinking about the way that I'm talking, I'm 
int my intonation goes up at the end everything sounds like a question but it's not a question <laughs> it is not a question it is just the way that sort of my generation talks and i think this these are the little nuances in conversation that people when they're learning a language they don't realize um where was i going with this i can't remember oh yeah, pay attention to the way that I speak when I'm not thinking about how I'm speaking. The way that I express myself when I'm not reading off of a script, right? There's a lot of ums and uh and pauses in the way that I speak. That's another thing because I think people I think people generally speak with a lot of ums and one thing about learning English through watching TV or watching uh, videos from teachers and things like that or just watching YouTube and stuff like that is that these videos are like edited they're extremely edited and so you don't hear people saying um or ah sometimes you do like sometimes you'll come across a video where people don't edit that part out but in general, people tend to edit out their videos because the ums and the ahs and the pauses sound very, they don't, uh, they don't uh, flow well. So if you want a nicely edited video, you tend to edit out all of that stuff. And what that does for English learners is I feel like they don't realize um, how much people actually pause and how much ums they say when they're speaking in just their normal everyday talk right okay we have totally digressed from the actual conversation which was what asian dramas i'm watching uh let me think about it i think those are actually the three that i've been or i said i was watching some boy love dramas but i can't remember their names right now i've seen two Two Korean boy no, I've seen three Korean boy love dramas thus far, and I'm I loved all three of them. There was one that was kind of sad, it was a little gray, but the other two were, were really cute. Um, let's see. What else am I currently watching? Oh my gosh, I totally forgot that I've been watching Destined with You. This show, here's the thing. I was going to do an entire video on this show, but I don't think that I am because there's not much to it, honestly. Like, it was a good show. It is it is a good show. I'm really enjoying it. I'm on the last episode. I'm going to finish it off. But I don't, there weren't like that many twists or turns or like you know things that were out of this world that really happened it was just a good pleasant show to watch and i would recommend it if you haven't seen it but yeah i don't know if it's like worth a whole entire video to do because like i said it, it was pretty pretty straightforward show like everything that happened wasn't ex nothing that happened was extraordinary uh it was just it, it was just good. It was just pleasant to watch. So I thoroughly enjoyed it. And um, yeah. Okay. I think I rambled enough. I hope you enjoyed this little rant chit chat type of video. Um, it was a little bit scatterbrained. I'm sorry about that. But I had fun. So that was good. All right. I will see you in the next one.